hybrid for Digitac. Yeah. Uh, so which other which which other instruments uh, the, the new overbridge? Uh, it, it, it works with Digitac, Analog Heat Mark One and Mark Two, Overbridge and Four Mark One and Mark Two. The Digitone needs to wait a bit because the, the plugin and the VSCI plugin, the standalone app and the VSCI plugin, is not really fully complete yet. We're working on it, and it will be out soon. Cool. Uh, but the audio driver in the Digitone is working, so you can use it as like an audio interface input in your DAW and streamable track audio. So what we have here is that this is a Digitac application. So, so you just connect it to so the USB. USB. All the analogs are off, you know. Yeah. But just with USB, I can have audio in and out coming from it. And uh, the interface is totally responsive. Responsive. All right. This is right now as a standalone, right? So what is happening in here is the audio goes into the computer by a USB and then it gets fed back into the sound card and then it goes into the mixer. Yeah. So this is a, why am I doing this? Because I have the multi track recording here without a DAW. So I can select all the tracks and I press play, everything is there. So you have like a mixer right here. Yeah, kind of a mixer, yeah. Uh -huh. Just like a monitoring uh, section. If I press capture, I will start recording all the tracks individually, including the inputs. Okay, so, okay. That's so it's an, nice, nice. it's an audio interface uh, like this for your computer. You can uh, inject audio via... And so you capture here and what happens? It stores in a, in a folder? Of course. So let's, let's try it. So I'm going to go here, browse, and uh, yeah, place, place a new folder here called Ba Ba Ba. So yeah, I select this folder, open. And I start capturing. Now it's recording. And While it's recording, I could... And then do the real old stuff. When you've had enough of your jam, you press cap stop. And let's go to our recordings. And uh, I made a new folder here. And here they are. Nice. All of them in individual new tracks. All named according to the dates. Track one and... Would you ask me? Oh man, this is amazing. And then you can import this to your session. Of course, you can just go like that into another DAW and everything is done. I think this is super, super important because sometimes where you are, when you are uh, producing and you don't have, uh, you don't want to be stuck into your DAW. You, you yeah, know, yeah. You, you want to be creative. You want to be more like in the creative process and then import all your your performance exactly. into, the, into a session and then exactly. you can edit it. Yeah. I mean, let's try that actually. Let's go to Ableton. Let's quickly run it. So, we're ba ba ba. Yeah, like that. You go on to here. And then if you hold the upper. There you go. There you go. Magic, eh? Magic. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, so it's the Overbridge is already out. You can download this version of Overbridge. Yes, you can. Uh, what number is the new Overbridge? Uh, this is Overbridge 2.0 public beta. Okay. So it's now it's still beta. Yeah, it's still beta. Okay. Because the Digitone app isn't ready. Okay. So you can still download it from this website. Okay. It's a public beta. Yeah, okay, yeah. A public beta. Perfect. And um, yeah, so I have a session on Ableton. So this is the Digitact plugin here. And uh, let me turn the plugins on as well. So now if I press play, now actually I can ap apply effects. Because I've got like an effects yeah. chain here. In a, you know, like that you can control via controller and uh, yeah and assign those effects to an uh, overbridge machine. And now you can import your samples you don't need to use the transfer anymore. It's, we, we, it's just on the transfer. Okay you can right now you cannot import uh, audio to your digital through the overbridge. No, but but through 
transfer, you can just run transfer app. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's already connected to Digitac. This will work when the yes. overbridge is running in the background. You know? Yeah. It's all totally fine. And these are my folders. I can go in there, you know, maybe even drag and drop. Uh, you know, you can yeah. all do all that stuff, yes. And of course, all the controls are changed on the screen. All the interfaces. You have uh, opened the, the one for the analog heat, yeah. and then this is the one for the yeah. Track. And what I've done here is that the digital uh, plug-in audio it goes into this channel, which is an analog heat plug -in. Yeah. So if I just solo this track, I will hear the audio being processed through this yeah. without any fiddling with the cables. Yes.